So let's say we had strong acid like HCl and uh, going to dissolve in water. Well, it's going to dissociate completely to get Cl minus and H3O plus. And um, by definition, an acid is a proton donator. And a proton is uh, just an H plus or hydrogen without its electron. The uh, strength, or I should say the characteristic of a strong acid is its ability to hold on to that um, electron the hydrogen leaves behind. Because that's going to determine how much it's going to want to donate the proton. Let's, let's go back to periodic table to see what we're talking about here. Hydrogen is in group one has one electron. In this case, it's linked up with uh, group seven chlorine. And uh, of course, chlorine only needs one um, electron to fill its octet, which is why it connects with the group one hydrogen to begin with. But now if hydrogen leaves, leaving its electron behind, not only is uh, chlorine's octet still filled, but chlorine is also very electronegative. So it's gonna pull that electron in close to itself. So in other words, that electron that's left behind after you donate the proton is very comfortable being attached to a chlorine as it would be a bromine or an iodine since they're all group seven halogens. So that's why these are all strong acids. Because again, since an acid is a proton donator, um, it, uh, it's more apt to donate a proton if this guy is very comfortable, which it is. All right. What if we had something like uh, acetic acid, which is CH3COOH plus H2O to yield in water uh, acetate ion plus H3O. Well, what we find in this case is that it's a weak acid because it doesn't disassociate completely in uh, water like hydrochloric acid does. A a HCl dissolves, com dissolves all the way. Okay, it only goes in one direction, whether you put a little or a lot in water. Acetic acid, not so much. And the reason why is this. Because if you draw out this uh, CH3, C O O H. This is the acidic proton. So it's actually becoming this. O minus plus H plus. This uh, electron is pretty comfortable because oxygen is, is still pretty electronegative, right? Although it's uh, it's not going to be as comfortable as it would be if it were chlorine. Okay. And of course, um, the reason why uh, these protons don't get donated is because what would leave behind is a negative charge in the carbon. And uh, that that would not take place because uh, carbon is not uh, as electronegative as the oxygen. So so that negative charge would not be very uh, comfy there, right? It will be more comfortable attached to something that's electron loving or electron withdrawing, like an electronegative atom. So acetic acid is a weak acid, and um, it doesn't associate completely with water. Uh, it's actually at equilibrium with uh, its original compound where the proton is attached and uh, where the proton is donated. Okay, that's why we draw this uh, equilibrium symbol here, and uh, that brings into something called. 
Ka. Ionization. Constant. Also called the acid uh, disassociation constant. And uh, basically, it, it describes the extent to uh, how um, much that acid is going to donate the proton to. So let's say um, we were to rewrite the above reaction like this our proton with A for our acid, which is our acid state group with our proton for acetic acid, plus water is in equilibrium with our acetate anion or uh, acid anion plus H3O. And the A means that this could just be any acid or any weak acid because again, uh, the strong ones, um, you wouldn't have that equilibrium. It, it would just be an arrow going all the way to the right, right? Well, going back to our uh, equilibrium video, we're going to write equilibrium is the concentration of, of products over concentration of reactants. And I'm just writing Ka here to symbolize the acid uh, equilibrium expression or acid ionization constant. And that's going to equal, well, what are my products? Products are A, H3O uh, plus, and um, that's over HA. And my other reactant is uh, water. Now, if everything dissolves in water, um, I'm going to call this 1, or give this a value of 1. Because water is kind of like our, our frame of reference. Uh, if, if we're talking about an acid dissolving in water, it's kind of like a part of a whole, or one whole. So, concentration of water is going to be 1 in relation to some part or uh, some concentration of our acid dissolving in that water. All right? So, I'm going to say Ka equals A minus times H2O plus over HA. And if you're still confused about that part, um, that's okay. Just keep in mind that we, we canceled out this water because since we're already dissolving all this in the water, you don't really need to include it. Right? So this is our equation for uh, acid ionization constant.